conversation Zeus. about Zeus. Um, I got it. It's all good. It's all good. Polish last names are hard. Um, how you guys doing? Hey, yeah. You're good? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you guys ever get, like, what piece of advice that you got as a child do you just still kind of remember? Like, does anybody have an example of, like, a, a piece of advice that they want to shout out? Don't fart in a space suit. Don't fart in a space suit. <laughs> Your parents had big dreams for you. Uh, uh, my, uh, so my parents uh, told me that I need to grow up to be what I needed when I was a child. Uh, and the thing about that is I can't turn into a flashlight. Dang it. Right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, and I told that joke uh, to, I told that joke to a fr trans friend uh, once and she thought that I was uh, coming out to her as trans. Uh, which is like, like that's funny, uh, but uh, like I, if I was going to turn into the flashlight, I would want to use the flashlight. I don't want to be used as a flashlight. Uh, <laughs> but like, honestly, if I started, like, if I could, like if I got, if I got in a card game uh, and like somehow I lost a lot of money uh, and they had to cut off my hands, I would love to have like little silicone vaginas as my hands. Like, eating Skittles would be fucking impossible. Uh, wearing gloves, really fucking hard, because every time I got aroused, they just slip off my hands. Um, yeah, here, let me, let me see what I did right stuff today. There we go. Uh, yeah, the longer that I go to therapy, the more I realize I have mommy issues and not daddy issues. Uh, which kind of sucks, because like, I feel like people who have daddy issues, like, they like, try at stuff, because they're trying to impress their father, but I just want to be told I can be president if I don't pee on the floor. Like, and now that I think about it, like, every president that we've had has probably not aimed correctly, because it's just, like, 70-year-old white men. Oh, uh, yeah, so I definitely do have mommy issues. That is not, like, a... Not just a joke. Um, and like, one way that it manifests it is that like, so I feel like every person should have like a sugar parent. You know what I mean? Like it shouldn't just be like sugar daddies. I feel like like men should have sugar mommies too. Like we deserve that equality. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Give it up for sugar mommies. Or don't. Uh, So, during the pandemic, I was trying my hardest to get a sugar mommy, um, and I would, I would use dating apps specifically just to find somebody to pay my rent, uh, and I'd like to share with you a conversation that I had with a 45-year-old woman, uh, and uh, I'm going to use a pickup line, uh, and feel free to use this, by the way, this is not trademarked anyway. Uh, okay. So I matched with her, uh, and I said, uh, my grandmother used to collect coins of all kinds. Quarters, pennies, and nickels from all years. She had a very eclectic collection. She was always missing a dime from 1975, though. I think I found it. Woo! Ow! Uh, then she goes, oh, that's smooth. Which, like, yeah, it is. It's pretty smooth. Uh, <laughs> and then, like... She then says, uh, LOL, you'll we'll proud like my daughter, she'll be 21 in February. I don't want next of kin. I don't. I want the real thing. I need my rent paid. Uh, I think that's all I got for tonight. Uh, thank you, my name's Andy Man, this is Keith. Appreciate it. Woo!